All right, guys. So um, I wanted to do this video because you may have seen this in the news where they're bashing vitamin D now. They're saying you shouldn't take too much. It's too toxic. And so vitamin D now is considered uh, dangerous if you're taking more than 600 international units. So I want to talk about where this is coming from, not necessarily to educate you, but to educate your friends and family that come up to you and say, oh, I saw this report or I, I saw this on the internet that vitamin D now is toxic and uh, you shouldn't be taking that. So I just want to talk about where that came from. So there was a very, very large study done over many years uh, from the National Academy of Medicine, formerly called the Institute of Medicine. And so at the end of this compilation of all the research, they made a big error, okay? In fact, it was a very large error by a factor of 10x. So instead of the RDAs being 600 IUs, it should have been 8,895. Now, an RDA is a nutrient intake considered to be sufficient to meet their requirements of 97.5% of healthy people to prevent a deficiency. When you talk about RDAs, it has nothing to do with unhealthy people and the, a much greater demand that they need. We're talking about the majority of healthy people and what they would need to prevent a major deficiency. So they had two panels to evaluate this. Uh, the first panel agreed with the error and said, yes, it was an error and it was off by 10x, okay? But then the second panel said the errors identified would not affect the final recommendation. So it remained unchanged. This was in 2017. So basically there's data out there that is still recommending this 600 IUs, which is crazy because we have an actual legitimate vitamin D pandemic right now with the majority of the population being very deficient in vitamin D. And that's creating a lot of problems with the immune system, with bone health, with inflammation, with increasing risk of autoimmune diseases. So when you see things like this, read who they're sourcing the information from. Where is it coming from? Is it outdated? Then you can actually see the actual source of where it's coming from and if it's legitimate or not. And I know that it's just really hard to fathom that the news could be not 100% accurate 100% of the time. And that's my sarcasm for the day. Um, but vitamin D is uh, incredibly vital, not just to consume from your foods, which is almost impossible to get from the foods, but from the sun. But not only that, so many people have absorption problems, not having a gallbladder, not having enough bile to absorb that fat soluble vitamin. They may have a damaged liver, which also limits the amount of bile production. They might have uh, malabsorption because their gut is inflamed. Maybe they have a genetic variation called polymorphism where your genes are affecting the receptors for vitamin D and you don't absorb them that well. Or maybe you have this chronic infection where the virus is downgrading the vitamin D. Or maybe you have a weight problem and you're obese where you would need three times the amount of vitamin D as someone that was not overweight. Or let's say you have more melanin and your skin is darker, you're gonna need more vitamin D from that, like three times more. Or let's say your skin is aged and you're over 60 or 70, you're not gonna absorb the vitamin D like you were when you're 20. Or if you're using suntan lotion, that's gonna block vitamin D right there. The next time you see a study like that, uh, just be suspect and realize there's just not a lot of money and promoting and using natural remedies. If you want more information about vitamin D, I put some videos up right here, check them out.